The big topic here of the week, obviously, huge story in the world of professional wrestling. Jay Briscoe passes away tragically in a car accident at the age of 38 in his home state of Delaware. Uh, terrible, terrible story. I'm sure, I mean, uh, Dave did an amazing job in The Observer. If you have not read this week's Observer, I, I highly, highly recommend you do it. Uh, great job by Dave. Brian took questions on Observer Live this week. Uh, it, it, it Just shockingly tragic when you hear something like this. Uh, for people who don't know, he was, he he was in a head-on collision while apparently taking his daughters to cheerleading practice. Both his daughters were in the car. A car from the other lane swerved into his, and, and, it, and it was a head-on collision. The driver of the other vehicle, I believe 27-year-old female wearing a seatbelt, uh, died from the, from the crash. Jay Briscoe was not wearing a, was not wearing a seatbelt. He passed away uh, from the head-on collision. Both his daughters were rushed to the hospital in critical condition. The oldest suffered, it was suffering from some sort of paralysis due to spinal damage that required surgery. Uh, she did not have feeling in her in her legs. She could have moved her legs. At one point, she gained uh, feeling in her in her upper legs, but she was she went through surgery. Now we're hearing that you know she's gaining uh, feeling and functionality in her legs uh, little by little. But it's got, it's going to be a long journey. Uh, heartbreaking heartbreaking story here the entire wrestling wor world paid tribute in some capacity uh nxc mentioned it on the air the new day uh had to change their segment you saw on smackdown many of the talent many talent that worked with them in ring of honor wore armbands that said them boys uh we saw it on dynamite also where you had you know the briscoe uh jay briscoe on it or jay on it them boys on it uh you know when when you hear something like this it's 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 heartbreaking especially the kids were involved uh, 38 years old he's a young man ring of honor was starting up his career was still going you know he had one hell of a year with his brother uh you know working against ftr you know th there is so much to this uh just really you never want to read anything like this you never want to hear anything like this uh just an amazing amazing talent and you saw the 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 outpour of support from talent within the business, from fans. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've seen him wrestle with his brother in Ring of Honor. And the support that came from all companies that was a tribute in, uh, at that Noah show last week with, uh, you know, they held a picture of the Briscoes. You saw, you saw what WWE did. The other half of the story, and, and this part sucks, right? This is terrible. We did not get a full-blown tribute show on Dynamite. Not because they chose not to. Has nothing to do with, you know, they already had plans in motion. It had to do, apparently, Warner Media did not want them to do it. WBM was not for them doing a tribute show here. Uh, we've heard the news, or, you know, not, not so much... Uh, rumors but fact they did not want the briscoes on tv a lot of this stems from a comment two comments pretty much that that jay briscoe had done on social media in 2011 and 2013 whether or not you know warner warner uh read those uh or somebody you know, they knew about this or they had, you know, or somebody told them about it. You know, I, to me, it really comes off as what what was the community? What was their response to this? Uh, I, I saw people from every possible side, uh, politically, non-politically, uh, in support of Jay Briscoe. I, I saw very little of... Uh, negativity towards Jay Briscoe. You know, people change over time. I I am a believer of second chances for most things, let me just say. Sometimes things are unforgivable, obviously. However, a, a idiotic comment on Twitter 
where you are also very apologetic for what you said, right? Uh, he was extremely apologetic for the things that he has said. He said that he was an idiot. He said that he, you know, he... I saw people defending that maybe it was a work, maybe it was a character. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. We have a very different standard by today than we did uh, 10 years ago. Not saying that that was right 10 years ago, but we hold people more accountable today than we did a decade ago. He was held accountable. There were rumors that he maybe, you know, blew his chances of getting a WWE job at that point, you know, and he immediately was apologetic about this. Up until, I believe, March or May, he did an interview recently this this year, and he said that he will continue apologizing for the thing that he said because it was, har- it was hurtful. You, people deserve a second chance, especially if it's a boneheaded comment on social media. It's not like he created physical harm onto someone. And for Warner to turn around and say, hey, listen, that thing that happened a decade ago that we knew nothing about... And we have no interest in, it's still, I'm so sorry, we can't do it. Then the hypocrisy begins, right? Okay. Listen, Dana White launched that idiotic power slap. My opinion, enjoy it if you like it. Personally, I think it's dumb. I think it's a really stupid product with, it's not a sport by any means. It's not uh, an artistic presentation like professional wrestling could be considered you are unprotected your hands are to your side you can't flinch and you're getting hit as hard with an open hand to your face to the point of causing some sort of head trauma where you get knocked out you could say okay the argument is well boxing well boxing you could defend yourself and those are highly skilled professionals you're not in a professional boxing fight on television if you haven't been training for a long time even with those those celebrity boxing fights that we're seeing, they're still in some capacity training. Uh, there's you know there's some headgear involved. Uh, it's they're not hitting you as hard as possible. You know you could say the Logan Paul fights or the Jake Paul fights. You know those guys are still training and they're still professional fighters in some capacity. They know how to take a hit. So you have that on by a guy that slapped his wife very publicly a few weeks ago. You're in bed with that. And again, I'm not stating my opinion on Dana White's situation. I, you know what? I, I would think that that's beyond. I'm not even going into that. I think we all know. I think everybody's opinion is the same on this. No consequences there whatsoever. You're still highlighting it on, on after AEW. But yet you do not allow a tribute to a man that died tragically in, in a horrific way. With his children witnessing it. With the kids hurt. And you're not allowing a, any, I mean, they, they only allowed them the bare minimum. Not even, not even a 10 bell salute. That's harmful for your brand. While you're airing, I mean, listen, I am not. I am not part of this cancel culture mentality. I, I listen. Something's very unforgivable when you say and do, and the court of public opinion will 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 punish you. Your job could be fired if you do something idiotic. Fine, whatever. But ten years have gone by, and you're not allowing this guy. You know what? TBS airs Family Guy and American Dad on syndication. I will guarantee you, if you watch that show, there will be a joke, there will be a statement made that is worse than what he said. Okay? However, that's that's creative, I guess, creative liberty, right? You could do that. I don't know. You know, maybe I'm a little hot over this. A little bit I am. But we got to look at things in a different perspective sometimes. You know, at times... uh, Hey, you know, maybe we could forgive this guy. Unbelievable. 